Good day and welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. What a beautiful day! The sun is shining and the sky is clear apart from a few clouds. You've probably noticed clouds come in a range of different shapes and sizes and appear at different positions in the sky. Clouds are a collection of tiny water droplets or ice crystals that float in the air. Scientists classify clouds by their appearance, composition and altitude. Let's take a look at some different types of clouds and their characteristics. Cirrus clouds are thin, high clouds made up of ice crystals. They often look like wispy white streaks in the sky. Cirrus clouds do not produce precipitation. Cirrocumulus clouds are composed of ice crystals and are thin, white and often arranged in rows or waves. Cirrocumulus clouds do not produce precipitation, but they may indicate stable weather in the near future. Like other clouds at high altitude, cirrostratus clouds are made of ice crystals and are generally uniform and spread out over a large area. Altocumulus clouds are mid-level clouds that usually form in the early morning or late afternoon. They are often the first sign of an approaching storm. These clouds are usually white or grey and they may have a slightly wavy or lumpy appearance. Altocumulus clouds can sometimes produce light rain or snow. Altostratus clouds are a type of mid-level cloud. They are generally uniform clouds that can cover the entire sky. They are often thick enough to block the sun but they may also allow the sun to peek through. Thick or widespread altostratus clouds can produce light precipitation in the form of rain or snow. Nimbostratus clouds are a type of low-level cloud characterized by a generally uniform grey or dark grey appearance. They are often associated with precipitation and can produce continuous light rain or snow for several hours. Stratocumulus clouds are a low-level cloud that often appear as a series of rounded masses. They can be either thick or thin and may produce light rain or drizzle. Stratus clouds are a low-level cloud type that are generally uniform in appearance. They can form when a layer of warm air is lifted over a layer of colder air and they often produce light precipitation. Cumulus clouds are large fluffy clouds that look like cotton balls. They are often seen on a sunny day. Cumulus clouds can produce precipitation if they grow tall enough and the air inside is cold enough. Cumulonimbus clouds are large, dense and vertically developed clouds that are often associated with thunderstorms. These clouds can grow to heights of over 16 kilometers, 10 miles, and are capable of producing heavy precipitation, strong winds, hail, and even tornadoes. What clouds are in the sky in your area today? How do the types of clouds in the sky change throughout the year? Righto, I'm going to go outside and enjoy this beautiful day. See you next time.